if you saw Prince Charming in the movie Shrek 2, you could easily imagine that he is the hero. And Shrek the ogre was, well, the ogre. But in the movie, it's clear that Prince Charming, while he has the looks, the flashing smile, the physique, and the speech of a palace person, he's vain, self-centered, and greedy for what's not his. Princess Fiona is cut off in the palace from the husband she loves and longs for. She is surrounded by dark powers and scheming authorities. And while in the movie someone else sings the words, only Fiona feels the real need for a hero. And the hero that comes riding in on a fiery steed, which is really a donkey, the hero that comes riding in on the donkey is Shrek, the compassionate, honorable, loyal, and courageous ogre, the one whose ugliness and political incorrectness made him the disgust of the ruling powers and the laughing stock of the populace. Fiona's heart, if not her mouth, is pounding out the confession and longing in the words of the uh, words and music of Jim Steinman and Dean Pitchford's song Holding Out for a Hero. Bonnie Tyler's throbbing version of the song is so much better than the one in the movie and given the right context ought to be <laughs> ought to be listened to at least once a week. Here she is, imprisoned, missing her husband, at the mercy of the powers, and imagine her singing. Where have all the good men gone? And where are all the gods? Where is the streetwise Hercules, the fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? Late at night I toss and turn and dream of what I need. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. He's got to be strong and he's got to be fast and he's got to be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the morning light. He's got to be sure and it's got to be soon. And he's got to be larger than life. She doesn't want the Prince Charming. She doesn't want his flashing smile. She doesn't want his palatial talk. She wants a hero. And so has the whole human family. In their better, more reflective moments. So it has been with all those that have mourned over their own sins and the sins of the human family, they realized that they needed a hero. And the hero came. Came in Jesus Christ, of whom it was said in Isaiah 53, He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to Him, nothing in His appearance that we should desire Him. His political incorrectness was known everywhere, and his most determined foes were those that had the power. Now, it wasn't from the palaces or corridors of power that the hero came, for he was a root out of dry ground, Isaiah 53 tells us. And it wasn't a fiery steed he rode into Jerusalem that fateful day. It was a donkey, Matthew 21, 1 to 11. Where is your Messiah? Some skeptic was sure to ask. That's him there, 
the one riding the donkey with his sandals dragging in the dirt. That? That's the hero? Ha! <laughs> Ten to one, no one will ever follow him. Hmm. I know it isn't always the case. It can't always be the case. We're just not up to it. But once in a great while, the sense of Christ's presence by His Spirit becomes so real to believers that the hair rises on their necks. The faith that He is always watching makes the heart beat with excitement. And that song commentary of Steinman and Pitchford now and then to believers becomes a personal and an immediate inner experience. On it goes, up where the mountains meet the heavens above, out where the lightning splits the sea, I could swear that there's someone somewhere watching me through the wind and the chill and the rain and the storm and the flood. I can feel his approach like a fire in my blood. Yes, this is the one the New Testament talks about ceaselessly. Not about churches. Not about preachers. Not about programs and successes or dreams of success. About him. And you do understand, don't you, that the truth of Jesus Christ is not based on the movie Shrek or the marvelous Steinman Pitchford song. The reverse is true. It's because of the truth of the one true God we have come to know in and as Jesus Christ that all great books and songs have been written and great movies have been made. Jesus Christ, the hero, who's, thank God, much more than a hero, for he not only appeals to the courage in us, he, he deals with the darkness in us. Jesus Christ, the hero, and his coming to rescue us is proof of our awful need. And he is the nightly cure for all that is ailing us. No wonder, no wonder there are times when believers feel the approach of the Lord God like flame in the grass and fire in their blood.